Tá bom, Kijan. Tchau, Aoi. Tchau, tchau. Well, I think there's a congratulations in order because I hear that you wrote an amazing poem. I saw that you wrote an amazing poem and for International Women's Day for Watford FC and you were chosen by the team as a winner. Thank you. So I've come here today to surprise you. Uh, I've got a few things for you. So this is a football signed by the whole team, the Watford Women's Team. So that's going to be for the class. I don't know if it wants to go on display somewhere. Um, I've also got some tickets for Rebecca for which game? The Arsenal awesome game. The Arsenal awesome game this weekend at Vicarage Road, which is going to be amazing. And also this for you. This is for you, Rebecca. Wow! Show from the women's team. So that's a very big well done to you for an amazing colour. Okay, so I'll pop these all back in the bag for you so you can keep it safe. Not often. I was quite lucky that, especially in primary school, when I played with the boys, they they were very nice to me, and, and the teacher was a, a male teacher, and he was very supportive. And I don't know, I don't know that that was always the case for some of my teammates. I think some of them had a bit of a hard time. Some, some girls I know cut their hair really short to look like a boy so that they didn't get picked on. Um, but they were still the best player in the team and then went on to play lots of times for their country and, and for clubs like Arsenal and teams like that. So um, I was lucky but there, are, there have been times when, when girls have been bullied but then they just go and show what they can do on the pitch and everybody kind of seems, thinks, OK, she's really good so we won't bully her anymore. So what inspired you to play for different teams and not just one? Um, that's a good question. So I started at Watford and then I got signed by Arsenal. So I moved on because at the time Arsenal were the best team in the country and when they come to you and they ask you to sign, it's like, wow, that's a pretty cool opportunity. So I went and tried it and then I played for Arsenal, then I went to Chelsea. Then I had my first child, my daughter Emily, who's seven. Then I signed for Reading. Then after Reading, I had my little boy Charlie, and that's when I thought, right, I need to be closer to home again, and I came back to Watford. Yeah. What number are you? I'm number ten. Oh, as well. Yeah. That's why I wrote number ten in there. Oh. That's so why everybody, I so everybody's one. written their number. So this player wears number twenty-one. This player wears number twenty-eight. Number five. So everyone puts their number, and then it helps because it's hard to read the name sometimes. Mm -hmm. So if you then look at our squad list, you can go right number thirty-five. Oh, I know that's Georgia. Who can work out who she? I just said your name.